Hello, hi, I'm Jeffrey. I'm the owner of uh, Basecamp Custom Vans and I'm shooting a walkthrough video of this uh, 2020 Mercedes Sprinter camper van we've built out. <clears throat> we've been building vans for about 10 years. We started doing it full time uh, professionally four years ago when we got a shop outside of Aspen. So this is one of my own personal built. This is my own personal van that I'm selling and I will talk about the van itself first then we could talk about all that we did inside of it it's a uh, 2020 mercedes sprinter 2500 so four by four with about 7,000 miles on it it's a 144 inch wheelbase which is the uh you know it's 140 there's also the longer one that's a 170 this is the normal size and some of the um what do we do outside we put a big nice big 52 inch light bar up front uh up on the you can see that up on the roof there we did a raptor liner uh to these uh forward facing uh hood uh, and the rocker line you know these uh rocker panels as well as these uh forward facing parts of the flares so this fan has uh flare space flares in it which allows the uh, bed to be uh, sideways uh, as opposed to long wise uh, queen size is 60 by 80 well the van's only 70 inches wide so when you come uh, when you build in this way you wind up 80 inches uh, with the bed coming forward uh, the flares obviously sideways now we have we've gained like 20 inches only coming in about 59 60 inches they have a uh, as I said a raptor liner on them which is uh, you know rugged and protects the van and all these lower areas out back here you know that's the bed basically is uh built on top of the bed is you know it's designed as all integral so the there's cabinets that are enclosing uh some of the stuff on the wheel well so the passenger side wheel well has a um, 16 gallon water tank with that pump there feeding both the sink faucet that's up front and a rear shower sprayer back here and uh it's i it's <laughs> we'll have that installed in the next couple of days this is like 99 percent finished see i have to, a door that i have to put on there there's a few things i have uh still sitting in the shop that i have uh these last minute things but uh, i wanted to, i'm really excited to put this out here and what's inside this driver's side wheel well is the 200 amp hour lithium battery bank there's also a 3000 watt inverter in there. So whatever household appliances, you know, that need a plug in up to 3000 watts, which is basically more than uh, any household appliances uh, can power all of those. But also there's uh, then there's, you know, the, the, the 12 volt battery powers everything else that's uh, uh, on board that doesn't need that inverter like these uh basically the every we try to use 12 volt for everything we have uh 12 volt lights those ceiling fans are 12 volt uh 12 volt refrigerator the water pump we try to rely mostly on uh you know have everything uh that we can have be on dc and then um shut this up here for all those power needs, all of that power that we use is recharged, but we're recharging those batteries with 300 power, 300 watts of solar on the roof. There's also um, uh, a DC to DC charger that charges the battery when the van's engine is running. So you can just jump on inside of here. We've got um, just so many little things. I walked right by the big cool awning that's sitting out there but uh we can see i just have it out it's a little breezy tonight uh but man i just love having an awning i didn't put it all the way out because i don't want it to get caught up but um you know it, it, it's obviously great for shade but gosh i just love having the uh even when there's bad weather you can have it out just as far as i have it there's like five three or four feet out and it locks the door you know from rain uh I mean, so you could even if it was uh you know one of these uh april shower uh you know spring showers happening it's uh 
uh, it's really great having an awning. It's a great upgrade. And I just jumped right in here. I just wanted to start. So we got the refrigerator that's built into this cabinet. It's also um, got the sink happening in here. We got big giant sink. Uh, I love the, um, you know, we pick and choose what we use space for. And the, the sink is so, uh, it's integral for everything all throughout the day we're using this. So, you know, <laughs> and the same with the fridge, you know, it's a nice hefty 78 liter fridge here. And, you know, pick and, we pick and choose what we what we uh, make space for in here because we can't put all, it's a, we're, you know, we have to pick and choose on what comforts, right? Well, for some reason, all RVs, uh, you know, typically you'll see everything uses like teeny tiny little sink, teeny tiny little fridge. It's like these important things, you know, get compacted to make room for other whatever. Um, so we have... Um, I've got the seats already swiveled around, but we have this one set up. Um, it's a really interesting layout there. And it's my first time. Uh, this is my new favorite uh, layout for the van, having uh, this bench seat that's that's here. This table can kind of come off and stow away. But, you know, obviously it swings over like a, it cranes over here and you can uh, have it for the, you know, the, the seats that are swiveled around. We could have a party in here, right? Four or five people can be sitting around. Also, this table will swing around and it can come, you know, be part of uh, extra space to be cooked for the cooktop area, right? So we cook with induction cooktop in here. Get that little thing just to cover the sink if needed. And you can see we have an outlet for uh, any 110 appliances, like I was saying. So that 3000 watt inverter will easily power this, uh, 18 watt induction cooktop. So we also have, this is a four season van. There's a Wabasto heater in that seat base of this passenger seat. And that Wabasto heater, uh, it's, it's adjusted for high altitude, which they have to be. They're uh, only from the factory, <laughs> you know, for it's, it's a whole other story. But this one's for use up to 10,000 feet. Uh, we've also got dimming lights. There's um, there's the puck lights on the ceiling, and there's also the uh, the lights in the cabinet all dim. And nice big closet. Plenty of room for two people's stuff. 16 inch wide closet there. And uh, there's like a 19 inch cabinet below it uh, for shoes and whatnot. And I tend to put my, fold my pants up. It's so, it's so, uh, gosh, to have a closet, it feels just so, what a luxury. So now I have to have everything, you know, rolled up. And so this bed, like I was saying, is uh, set up side, uh, so, you know, side to side. It's also, I wonder if I could show this easily without taking everything apart. The bed itself is just, there's a cabinet over the batteries that are underneath on this side. And there's a cabinet over the water, uh, the water that's on the passenger side, right? There's a big tank on the passenger side, big, huge battery bank with the inverter and all the fuse boxes and everything. Uh, and under this cabinet, you can see we also built in, I gotta put the lights in here still, but there's a little cabinet. There's a little free space underneath. Um, um, for extra storage and so forth. But the bed itself, uh, the way we make it span is just with these panels. So those, there's three panels that can come out and uh, you could actually set this up if we want to get rid of the mattress and take these panels out. Um, I won't do the whole thing, but you get the idea. Now we could take the third one out and be able to walk right through the back so you could get rid of the mattress for the weekend. If you were taking, you know, needed something big like your boat, like some, you know, paddle boards or surfboards, whatever they happen to be. Uh, maybe you need to go pick up lumber at Lowe's. I don't know. It's just, uh, it's not a fixed bed. So it can be set up. Um, and there's a bunch of storage underneath. The storage and all throughout the whole overhead Um all these overhead cabinets are just so great. I left them uh, open. That's on purpose. Uh, we've done we've done them before where, you know, it's so common to just put the doors on them, right? And it closes everything off. Uh, and then you're slamming doors looking for everything. <laughs> Whereas this way, oh, there's my cool hat, right? Uh, and also, it's just like when I sit back here 
it just leaves the space open. Also, there's light coming out from right. It's right. So no, it's a nice open space with light. Uh, this is actually a very small little space that we're sitting in here. Uh, it's only 60 square feet, right? And uh, I'm going to switch over to the driver's side here. <laughs> we have a big mess on the of the bed, but you get the idea. So we've got, you know, like I said, we've got these overhead cabinets open. We tried not to, uh, we've really given it a lot of thought in building these over the years. So we've built out uh, about a dozen of these for myself. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, the first few I had for several years. But we've traveled about 350,000 miles in sprinters in the last almost 11 years now. And, um, you know, it's a lot of nights, spend a lot of days and nights, uh, you know, roaming the country. In, in, and these have been both full time for uh, you know, a couple months at a time um, have happened. Also, lots of weekends away to Denver. Uh, lots of... Uh, Weekend camping trips, national parks, all these things. Out to the desert, Moab is about, uh, Moab, Utah is about two and a half hours from here, for instance. So we go do mountains and deserts and all of it, right? Um, and I've spent a lot of time uh, um, afternoons, but a lot, it's wonderful to have nice weather like we have here today, but you know, it can, it's very, it's not uncommon that we'll have, you know, several days in a row at times uh it, it, where it may be raining out or it's cold and the door can't be open and this space can easily get overbuilt it's really easy to like start building in on both walls and put all the you know big cabin you know big closet big cabinets big uh and, and just wind up with a little hallway down the middle that you can kind of stand up in here and turn around in um as opposed to you know what the 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 design um whether we do like in this one we did obviously the cooktop and sink on the passenger side even when we do them on the driver's side here and do a little bench maybe um flipped around uh either way we want to leave uh the space the space has to be comfortable uh to spend an entire afternoon you know if we're gonna maybe spend entire afternoons in here um you don't want it to feel you know it's easy for um it to get overbuilt like i said and, um when that happens, it feels cramped. It's right. You get the idea. So not only have we uh, spent, you know, tried a lot of different layouts, but also done different materials. And this has all been built by, I just want to kind of, th this was all built by, uh, with uh, raw materials. There's no prefabricated anything in here. So the, you know, over the years, the first couple of vans I had, first one in particular, uh, we've got cabinets from, you know, this that were meant for a kitchen from like a Habitat for Humanity Restore uh, store. Um, and, you know, it was they spent a good amount of money on them and then, uh, you know, we took off on the road and did these big road trips. And then a year later, it was so disappointing. The cabinets were all beat up. There was a broken, you know laminate or whatever and the door hit, broke and um it's just realized like oh joyce we're not like these things the things that can withstand uh a kitchen it doesn't necessarily isn't automatically going to work great in a camper van same with the second one we did you know not as much uh we still didn't we've been learn it's been a learning process right so i've learned on my own vans how to do this <laughs> how to install the windows how to install the roof fans and the solar i've learned it all on my own vans right and so i'll shut the door and show you this for instance we've got this great sliding window that has a big so even if you had to have the door shut you can have a venting window here uh so you know we install the windows and the roof fans and the um and all of it, and we fabricate all this cabinetry. So, you know, these overhead cabinets, everything's trimmed with aluminum. Even the wall materials are really durable. This is a grass cloth or, you know, really durable coin. Uh, and then laminates. Every All the cabinetry is uh, cabinet grade maple. It's just got a natural stain on it. And then we make all these laminates from the maple, right? So it's all like solid wood. Uh, no particle board or uh, MDF or anything prefabricated. Everything was custom uh, done, designed and developed here in the Rocky Mountains, right? So this little uh, cabinet has a couple of 
a couple of little cubbies underneath and in the third one surprise door number three has a little cassette toilet and top to bottom all the best all the best materials you know use alpine mechanism seat swivels which are you know they're just they're the best ones that there are there they have the lowest uh they have the lowest rise on any of them and and they also just smooth they're super smooth um which is why they're twice as much as uh but you know it's it's uh and then you get you buy the best stuff and then you get a great setup so this one has uh uh that throughout i i uh i'm really proud of it this is definitely my favorite fan so far and uh it's for sale it's available so if you're interested um you know i look forward to hearing from you uh please don't hesitate to reach out and uh thanks for watching it's uh, uh look forward to uh, hearing from you soon